Hello there guys, welcome back to Visiting Beer Drink Towns. How are you guys doing today? I am absolutely fantastic and I'm so excited to see what you guys have in store. Uh, so the sleepy town called Caramel, alright. Let's see what we have here. Right off the bat I see cake and I need that cake. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rainbow t-shirt, I like that. Alrighty, I'll take the pants. What are these? And a wand. Alright, I think I'll take these. Perfect. And there are the pants. Bubble wand. And that should about do it. <laughs> Alrighty, perfect. I want that too. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take a look, see. Oh, hello there. Wonderful. Well, nice to meet you as well. Um, so here's... Oh, hello there. Oh, you're a really cute dog. <laughs> I think somebody must have the perfect town. From the looks of things. Oh, nice cabin interior. This was theme. Oh, I can't even go in there. Oh, um, cabin theme was the thing that I always used when I was, uh, first playing Animal Crossing on the GameCube and I was a little, there we go, get rid of that hat. It's kind of bothering me. It doesn't match with the rest of the outfit. But yeah, I have a really soft spot for the cabin theme for whatever reason. I don't know why it was my favorite, but it was. <laughs> uh, this is, is it called the jingle theme? I can't remember. Or jingle set. It's the Christmas stuff, that's all I know. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we'll head in here. Oh, kind of space theme. I really like the, um, well one, I like this moon. <laughs> or planet, I guess it's supposed to be a moon. But I really like the, um, that space suit right there in the corner, because when you move your camera, the reflection of that planet, I'm assuming Earth, also moves in the visor, so it just looks like, that, just like you know, that much more realistic, and I think it's, like, those little details that I really like in, uh, in themes. I like this furniture set, but I've yet to ever get it. And yet, I hate the wallpaper and the carpet. <laughs> I just like the furniture. These are pretty. Alrighty, and basement. Oh. Interesting. Checkered type theme. A little bit spooky down here to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is exactly where I'm sitting. <laughs> it's pretty much what it's like in my room right now too. It's pretty dark in here. Okay, so let's head back out and actually look around your town. Usually we don't uh, enter the villager houses quite that quickly. So, um, who, okay. I know this player, or not this player, oh my goodness, I know this villager for sure. Cause I have Francine as well. <laughs> I recognize the house. Yeah, um, you can always tell which villagers, for example, in these videos I have because they'll know my name and they won't, for example, introduce themselves or ask if they've ever met me before. Um, 
And they'll actually recognize you from your town, but like the other animals will not, so. All right, so we've already talked to him. I'm assuming that was his house. I just put that in my town recently. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, hello there. You were in the last town I visited as well. Actually, she's in quite a few towns that I visited, to be honest. And again, I like this set and I really want to use it. <laughs> put any of the <laughs> I never put any of the um, I guess playground type stuff in my town before I don't know why I haven't it would actually fit pretty well oh hello I've seen you before as well I can't remember your name Jax I don't know why I, I wanted to call you by another name and I think I'm thinking of another bird <laughs> maybe I don't even have any bird villagers in my town right now, which is kind of strange. I don't really get very many in all of my save files that I've had. For whatever reason, I have a tendency to have a lot of sheep. <laughs> okay, pretty lighthouse. Very nice. See, this town is a really good example of how you can really make your town look absolutely gorgeous without having proper, and I use quotations around that word proper, um, paths. Thanks, sorry, right, so just default. Um, but yeah, totally, a lot of people seem to think like my town needs to have paths to look really gorgeous, but like, you know, no, it's just, it's a personal preference, I guess, and you shouldn't ever feel forced to have them just because a lot of other people rather have them, myself included. And they do take a lot of time and effort to put down and stuff like that, and it can be extremely frustrating if somebody places their house right where your path was. <laughs> oh, you have a... Uh, what's her name again? Chrissy, right. She's, I guess, the sister, I believe, of Francine? Cousin, somewhat related anyways, <laughs> just kind of opposite of each other. I haven't ever had her before, I'd like to have both of them to be honest, they're pretty cute together. Cafe, oh here we go. <laughs> um, that is Vesta, isn't it? She's one of the sheep I had in my town a few times now. Um, I believe it was Timbra who I've had a lot. Oh, hello. You have the most intense eyes. Wow. I like him. He has an epic mustache too. Um, let's see here. Oh. Oh, you're kind of cool. Oh, I think this is the type of character I would get along with immensely. <laughs> um, little personal side note here. Growing up, I had a stuffed toy who was a lion who looked very similar in color and design to that character. Um, so I'm pretty sure he would probably be a favorite of mine if I was to have him in my town. Not to mention, his house is so cool. Um, alright, let's head up here. Just making sure that I'm not missing anybody. <laughs> oh, hello there. You have a very nice house. Nan, um, was she in the older Animal Crossing games? Because she kind of... Maybe not herself, but her house looks very familiar to me. I might be thinking of a different goat, though. I'm not 100% sure on that. 
All I know is that in the original, or my original Animal Crossing on the GameCube, I had a goat in my town one time and I was doing um, a favor for her right at the beginning of the game and I think she gave me one of the paintings to put into the museum and it wasn't fake so I was like over the moon. <laughs> her house was full of paintings from what I remember. Uh oh. Dear lord. <laughs> oh my character's face. There we go. Much better. Oh. Oh I should know what that's from. Oh my goodness that's gonna bother me. Oh. Bell. <laughs> Oh my goodness, are you maple? Oh, I, I blew bubbles at you, I'm sorry. Cherry, wait, what? Isn't Cherry the dog? Oh, but maple is a different bear. I'm, oh my goodness, too many. <laughs> All right, so we seem to be back at the town square, guys. You guys know what that means. I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Um, I don't think I missed anything. This, yeah, I've already been here. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So as I was saying, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. When we return, more Dreamtown visits. I have a lot to get through, but I am very slowly chugging through them. Trust me. So I hope you guys continue to tune in. Thank you so much for supporting it, and I will see you guys next time.